Here you have a president who's grossly incompetent, who doesn't know where the hell he is. He can't even leave a stage. Like, when I leave here, I really know I'm going to say hello to these people, and then I'm going to walk down a stair. I might even say hello to the front row, you know, maybe. But it's not that complicated. But this guy's always, where the hell am I? And you know, uh, I will tell you, the people that he's dealing with, President Xi of China, Kim Jong-un, North Korea, uh, if you look at France, Macron, these are all people at the top of their game. These are smart, smart people, tough people. They're at the top of their game. We have a man who doesn't have a clue, and he's in charge of potential nuclear war, which will annihilate the whole planet. And we can't let it go. People smile and they laugh and they think it's funny that he doesn't know where he is. And he doesn't know. And he didn't know where he was 25 years ago either, by the way. This was not one of the smart ones. This was not one of the small ones. I asked, you know, I got along very well with Ted Kennedy. Never told the story. This is the first, this is for, this is for Nebraska, not for Iowa. But I had a good relationship. I said, who's the smartest person? This is 25, 30 years ago. I got along because of Palm Beach and stuff. I did him a big favor, actually, Ted Kennedy. And uh, not in my sphere in terms of politics, but that's okay. You know, that can happen, too. I get along with a lot. I have a lot of great relationships, like in President of Mexico. He's a socialist, but we have a great relationship. He did a lot of good favors for us. We had the safest border in history. But with Ted Kennedy, so... I said, who's the uh, smartest senator? Who's the smartest one in the Senate years ago? And he gave me a name. I won't say that because it's uh, actually a person I didn't like very much. So I don't want to get him. I said, who's the dumbest in the Senate? He goes, let's see, probably Joe. I said, Joe who? Joe Biden. He's the dumbest in the Senate. Now, that was by Ted Kennedy. Now, they'll go crazy. They'll say, oh, that's terrible. But he said this. And this was prime time. This wasn't now. And by the way, he's not old. He's off. There's a difference, because I know people that are 90 years old that are sharp as a tack. In fact, I, some of them are smarter than they were 20 years before. It's not age. It's uh, there's something wrong. But he was never. And if you look at his foreign policy decisions, they were horrible over years. And his own people were saying that he doesn't make right decisions. But now he he's incapable of in my opinion, he's incapable of running. And I hate to say it because, you know, I'm not sure that he's going to be able to make it to the gate. But I guess I'd rather have him than somebody that actually is intelligent. Right. <laughs> so I hurt myself when I tell you these stories in a way. Although I wouldn't mind running against Kamala. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Her. I wouldn't mind. Her. But these incredible poll numbers are the primary reason that crooked Joe Biden has weaponized law enforcement and ordered his top political opponent, me, right in the middle of the election, because we're right now in the middle of a big deal, ordered me arrested right here, right at this time. It never, never happened before. He's doing well. We have to arrest him. This, these people are sick. And this is a continuation of the greatest witch hunt of all times, which was when we came down the escalator, the beautiful golden escalator. And it's all about a thing called election interference. This is a new way of cheating, not really new over the centuries, you know, things like this have happened, but they've never happened in our country to the extent they have.